Oh, that more than uh, does the job. Welcome back. We're going to continue on our series of playing games that you know, you didn't know that you wanted to see, but you always wanted to see them. No, really you did. Uh, this one is called The Beard in the Mirror, um, made by O. Arak Studios. Paul. Paul, awaken! Take the land that must be taken. Wait, who are you? Paul, you don't remember me. After all we've been through. Listen, sorry for hurt you, man. I don't know who you are. Paul, I. Oh, well, well, well. The adventure begins. Man, what a weird dream. How to play. Right click to scroll through Paul's different actions. Walk, talk, interact, and look. Hover your cursor at the top of the screen to get the um, bar. Select a new action, as well as save, load, and exit, and access the inventory. Uh, you can examine, select, and combine items. Um, okay. I think I'm following. While walking, you can press escape to skip ahead to your destination. You can also control the keyboard to skip through dialogue. Click once or press any key. <laughs> Tweet at Beard Hints for spoiler free tips. I'm not changing the sheets. I like them with. No, no, you're, you're changing the sheets. Oh, fine. Let's talk to the bed. Can we talk to the bed? Guys can have pink sheets on their beds if they want. Man, that's good pathfinding. Let's see what's on. Alright. Yeah, I can't hear that one bit. I don't know if you can. I guess that's some kind of music. It's my radio. Of course, nowadays I mostly listen to music on my phone. On my my phone. But it's still nice to have the radio around. Do, 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 do. That's enough. I can't take that down. How will passing ships be able to identify me? It's unfortunate how many things we're unable to talk to. Arr. One of the worst parts of living away from home is I have to empty my own garbage. But I don't need to do it right now. It's not overflowing just yet. Well, okay. What else can we interact with? There's no time for games. What's wrong with you, man? What is wrong? Can't get out. I can't get anything out of there with my bare hands. It looks like a gumball machine. It's a very secure gumball machine. Okay. Um, it's a special antique gumball machine. I put my family pocket knife in there for safekeeping a while ago. Now even I can't steal it. Okay, can we look at the mirror? Sure is dark out. That's not a mirror. That's a window. Which makes a lot more sense. Um, Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what I'd look like with a beard. Uh, how many more things can I try to interact with here? The closet? This is a closet, right? It's probably a good idea to change my clothes now. Time for a new outfit. There we go. Much better. Yeah, you can very much see the difference there. 
spasm. The soda, my entire ward <laughs> entire wardrobe looks identical. It's the drawer where I keep important things. Alright, what's in the drawer? It's important things. I'll take these letters. Take this old map and the notes. Maybe even the key will come in handy. There's nothing left in the drawer. I want to take the drawer. May I take the drawer? Fine. Uh, can we combine items? Let's combine the key with... I don't know. You gotta score a zero, man. Dear son, when will you ever come home again? I hope you enjoyed your 22nd. And did you get the artichokes I sent you? I know how much you like artichokes. So your job at the newspaper going well. I know you didn't really enjoy it, but if you just keep applying yourself, I'm sure someday you'll figure out what you want to do. I miss you. Your father does too. Even if he never says it. Write me back when you get the chance. When you, when you come home, be sure to bring a lovely lady friend with you. That's a couple months ago. I don't even like artichokes. Strange old map I found in my desk drawer. I don't recognize any of the places on it. The mysterious note. Paul, take this map. Hell. It's the key from the drawer. Okay. It's my bedroom door. Flying out of the sun. Got this lamp at a yard sale last year. Two bucks. And it even came with a light bulb. The lamp doesn't actually work, nor does the light bulb. Oh, that's great. Um, Alright. I guess we're supposed to interact with the computer. No new mail. How about now? Nope. How about now? Okay. Here, let's use the key on the computer. No such luck. Alright, fine. I don't recognize the key, so it probably doesn't go to my bedroom door. Why would I want to lock myself in? Why not? Alright, so the adventure has to begin somewhere. Why is my door locked from the outside? It's worth a try. Uh, okay. That's weird. The subtle perfection, both beauty and form of the majestic crowbar. Alright, let's go. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've got one of those uh, in my bedroom, too. You know, just a random forest. Wow. Wow. Could have sworn this was the hallway yesterday. What am I doing here? Yes, that's the question, isn't it? What are we doing here? We've been waiting here for hours, wondering if you would turn up, and now here you are? My lord. And who be you? Not just a thief, but a liar? Is that your game now? Yeah, no, totally. Uh, maybe I should just end this here. Whoa, nice. That's a nice little weapon. Whoa, 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 okay. And what does this fish girl think she's doing here? I won't let you hurt him. Oh, dear. Well, that's gotta hurt. Pants. This isn't over. You'll have much to answer for both of you. Once I stop bleeding. Paul, do you have the map? What map? What are you talking about? Uh, why was he trying to kill me? I need you to focus. Do you have a map? The one that was in my drawer? Yeah, I have it. Good. 
You'll need to take the utmost care with it. It's immensely important, though I do not know exactly why. All I can tell you is that when exactly the right time comes, you will know exactly what you need it for, and then you must until then you must not show it to exactly anyone. Do you exactly understand? Paul, you have no idea how exactly important this is, or how much danger we went through to get it. All right, I won't show it to anyone except everyone. Now, can you tell me stuff? Yes, I cannot promise to answer all of your questions, but I can vaguely answer whatever questions that I will let you ask me. Um, I saw you last night. Who are you? Yes, I was there. Ah. <sighs> Sorry, I'm still getting used to this. My name is Lily. I'm here to help you as I promised. Um. You promised someone you'd help me. Who was it? I cannot answer. In truth, I know some part of you already knows the answer. Alright, who's that dude who attacked me? Thurston. He's not a nice man. He's the prince of this land. I would avoid him if I were you. Um, what am I doing here? If you're asking how you got here, I brought you here. But if you want to know your purpose, I cannot answer that. I don't know. If I can tell you this, the first part is one of self-discovery and hopefully remembrance. So, you're the one who turned my hallway into a forest? Well, yeah, I did it. It's a simple porting spell to, like, connect stuff. I'd meant to escort you here myself, but when I saw you like that, I lost control of myself. I needed to rein in my emotions, so I cast a slumber on you and left the means for you to get here. Okay, fine. Whatever. Don't have any questions that I know how to ask. But, seems you don't want to give me any answers, so... Yep, we'll talk some time. And now it's time. You're on your way. Wish I could go with you. But, I'm gonna be an NPC. And see you around. You'll do fine. Uh, don't worry about it. Here's the thing. You're welcome to take one of these items if you think it'll be useful. Um Yeah. Let's let's take the bottle. What's with the bottle? The flask contains an experimental tonic. Oh, it's not alcohol. Damn. Um No, okay, it's missing it missing alcohol. Um What's the spiky shell thing? It's a Mer Murex Mollusk. Rather hard to come by in these parts. It's their properties. So in such, such high demand. And the fish? Uh, you actually don't want that. That's my lunch. I'll take the fish. Uh, okay. You cannot stay longer. Make your way to the castle, Paul. I'll be waiting. Alright, so we do the first thing, which is go back home. And seal the door. It's already unlocked. There we go. And then we. Oh, we can't lock it behind us. Damn. All right. Um, oh yeah, grab a beverage just in case we get thirsty. Um, well, I suppose the game wants us to actually go out and explore the world. All right, so. 
guess we can't climb the trees. We're not going to do any landscaping. I guess we're just going to walk along the path and go to the castle. And do the very linear thing. Squirrel! Squirrel! Oh, man. We can't get bitten by the squirrel. Oh, but uh, we can go to our inventory and select the fish and offer the fish to the squirrel. Squirrel, do you like fish? Squirrel! Alright. Um, it's digging in the dirt. It does not like this fish at all. Okay, can we look at the tree? There's a hole in the tree. What a nice flower. Alright, I guess we're gonna go walking along the path. Oh, there goes the squirrel. Um, can we dig where the squirrel was digging? Can we at least look at what the squirrel was digging? Or No, I guess not. Fine. Uh, so yeah, on we go. Neat cave. Very pointy. Looks like someone set up a home here, too. Can I offer you a fish? Apparently not. I guess we'll just have to grab your beard. Or your stuff. Or whatever. Oh man, we can't touch the rocks. Alright. Well. He's tossing a stone. He must live in a glass house. It's quite the collection of rocks. What's up? Get whatever you want. Um, nice rocks. Mine. Uh, who are you? I am the young, uh, young man. I am the guardian of the forest. I was appointed to this position by the great Lord Paul the First. And I Sally suffer from polydipsia. My given name is Arthur, but you may call me Artie. Uh, do your friends call you that? Friends? And who are you? None of your beeswax, old man. I mean, um... <laughs> wow. What do you want? Who are you? Alright. And... I suppose we tell him who we are. I'm Paul. Uh, quite the coincidence, isn't it? Um, how are you doing, Artie? Alright. Who is this Lord Paul? He fought bravely for all our sakes and against terrible forces of darkness and made this land safe to live in. And then he and his wife, a powerful mage in her own right, the Queen, was keep our people healthy and happy for a full generation. Oh, I'm sorry, I misread that. And then he and his wife, a powerful mage in her own right, the queen was, kept our people healthy and happy for a full generation. Come to think of it yourself, you do look a bit like it. Um, where can I find Lord Paul? He disappeared years ago, boy. Maybe a 30 years past, the queen and her young son, Lord Paul II. Some say they died, but nobody knows for sure. They vanished without a trace. Uh, I've been secluded in the forest since he left us. I can tell you no more. There's a little girl named Berenice. She is the ruler of the kingdom. She's no Lord Paul I, but she's far from the worst ruler the kingdom's ever seen. And let me keep this pass, or post. And she let me keep this post, so what do I care? So, where's the castle? Ah, uh, to the west. Alright, cool. Um, oh, he's thirsty, as usual. Well, nothing I can do about that. Because all we've got is a fish, and you don't like fish. See, if we had the little beverage thing, that'd be one thing, but we don't, so... Alright. Hey, look. It's a dude. 
Yikes. As in more than one yike. I poke you. Fine, I offer you a fish. No, we talk. Hey, what's up? How be you? Uh. Can you speak? Uh. Right. I'd say, you're rather handsome for a large, hulking ogre like creature with six heads. Thank you. May I pass? May I pass? Shifts idly. Uh, apparently not. Alright, well, we're gonna go past. Uh oh. Well, uh, maybe that's not such a good idea. We would go past this way. Also, what's this over here? What is it that I just picked up into my inventory? Ah, shades. Nice. Can't see a thing with these on. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, we'll go up in the background. And up and over. Or something. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Here's the thought. Maybe if I wear the sunglasses, I'll be able to get past the creature. I can't see him. He can't see me. That always worked when I was younger, anyway. Yeah, let's do it. Simple. Ah, merely a flesh. Oh, never mind. Oh, really? Here's what really happened. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Uh, fine. Yeah, that's probably a stupid idea. Or was it? Oh, come on. Fine. Can't see. Put the sunglasses on, <laughs> on the giant beast with six head in the scythe. Which head would I put them on, anyway? I don't know. Come on. Okay, I guess we have to remove those. For some reason, we can't just go to the castle. Knock, knock. Maybe I should leave it alone. I wouldn't like it if someone were poking at me if I were a tree. Um, probably has animal spit in it. Okay. Oops. Sunglasses. Yeah. Alright, fine. Um, let's put the... Let's get our fish out. Can't see. Oh, come on. Really? Ah, that's better. Alright, so we'll grab the fish and chuck it in the... Okay, apparently we can't do that. Yeah, I'm not sure what the fish is useful for. If anything. Cool. We had the beverage. Um, apparently we can't do anything over here. Um... Don't want any vines, so yeah, I guess... Unless we're gonna talk to the tree. Wait. Why would I want to talk to the glowing vines? Why wouldn't you? They aren't glowing, are they? Yeah, and no, I'm pretty sure they actually are glowing. Okay, so... I am just a touch lost. Say, you know anything about that ogre there? Just anything at all, perhaps, maybe? 
Oh. Yeah, any thoughts about getting past the ogre? Ah! So you've met Karg. Pleasant chap, that one. He and I enjoy a game of poker on occasion. Not much of a challenge, though. I fear having so many heads. It's dulled as wits a touch. Precautionary measure for the festivities, you understand? Only those who are authorized by nobility are allowed to pass. If anyone else tries, he's to deal with them. And he takes his job very seriously. So... You have to get permission from a noble, or you just have to be a noble. You have to bear strong resemblance to Lord Paul the First. Your looks alone won't be enough to persuade him. Um, I see a resemblance. Uh, his son, Lord Paul the Second, was but a child. But I suppose he'd be around the right age to father someone like you. Um, someone your age, not not someone with your obvious lack of wits. Uh, it's going to be hard. As a creature in the northern part of the forest, you may be able to help you. Well, this giant tree. Take this stone. Carrying it in your possession will allow you to speak with the creature. Its language is otherwise imperceivable by humans. However, I must warn you of two things. First, the creature is indeed intelligent. It's not a true denizen of the forest. It's not as civilized as you or I. Take the utmost care when speaking with it. If you don't give this stone back to me before you leave the forest, and I will know it, and I will kill you. Oh, nice. All right. That's pretty special. Go north. Something, something, the stone. Get stoned. Yeah, that sort of thing. Go north. And then let's equip said stone. Um, and talk with the tree. Or talk with the creature. Or stone the creature. Um, wait, can we not talk with it? Creature. Creature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it was the glowing vines who could who were talking. But, um, so. You can speak when you can listen. You can paint with all the colors of the wind. Oh, apparently this is how we communicate. So, how do I prove myself to be of noble blood? Hmm. Do you want me to feel your blood? Well, I don't know what else I can do. Uh, you have a wonderful feel. Uh, feeling like someone I've not felt in a long time. There's a young man who visited me here in the forest many years ago when the second growth was coming in. Never forget the gentle way he brushed his skin against my leaves. Perhaps I like your feel, because it reminds me of his. His name was Paul. You know, maybe there's Lord Paul. That's actually my name, too. You know, you're probably related, you're curious and kind, and you feel so similar, etc., etc. Hey, wait, you're not just saying that to loan me no sense of security, are you? Because it's working. Uh, would you vouch for me? Sure. Could you tell Karg that I'm related? Well, I'd be glad to, but I don't think I've ever met this Karg, or Kork, or whatever, and I'm stuck here. Um, maybe something I can do. Take a piece of me with you, but promise not to keep me with you forever. Alright. How do I cut to you? Right, right, right. What do you think of Artie, the guardian of the forest? I think I might have left a rather poor impression. He has avoided the place ever since that time I stuck a snow in from his pocket and threw it into the forest. Um, yeah, yeah, so I'm the one who can move around, so if anyone, oh, yep, I don't have a knife. I've got a key, a key has a serrated edge. Um, oh, I know where to find something that can cut. 
Unfortunately, Karg is going to have to supply me with it. Alright, let's talk. Can I have that little scythe just for a minute? You know, I think it would be really nice of you. Ha! Alright, he doesn't think I'm a noble. Um. So, what do I do to convince him? Do I offer him a fish? Would you care for a fish, sir? Uh, do I offer him... I don't know. Here's a piece of paper. Here's another piece of paper. No such luck. Um, I do see you got this nice little scythe here. I would very much like to have said scythe, so I could use it to cut a vine. But, what can you do? Alright, I guess we go back out to the forest. Or back here, and I don't know. Pick up something. Oh. Okay, we can't take... Okay, we can't take the forest, we can't take the rock. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. We're gonna talk again. So apparently that's the only thing we can do in this game. Um, how are you doing? Thirsty as usual, and you said I should... Yep. It's nice talking, etc, etc. I might just soft block the game, because it seems I'm not getting very far. Can we talk with the squirrel? Squirrel! Well, that's too bad. Maybe I can offer something to said squirrel. Nope, he doesn't want the fish. So, yeah, I seem to be stuck. Just a little bit. There are pools of water all around the tree. Um, apparently I can't just tear the vine with my bare hands. Um, so it seems, yeah, we're kind of at an impasse. Unless I go back to the entrance to the forest and I re-encounter um, whoever that one character was. Who I think told me their name, but I forgot it. Because I was having too much fun mocking them. Yeah, or mocking the situation. Um, so yeah, I think I'm stuck. So, unless I can make some progress in, like, the next ten minutes or something, we might have to call it here. Um, I mean, the shades are pretty cool. Apparently everywhere I transition, uh, I lose the shades. Okay. I don't know, maybe I have to go back to the bedroom and find something there. Unfortunately, there aren't any things I can cut things with here. Let's grab another beverage. Oh. Alright, can I use the fish somehow to get the gumball, the knife out of there? Okay, that won't fit in the coin slot. Will this little rock fit in the coin slot? Nope. 
I'm thinking we actually need coins in the coin slot for this to work. Um, and we have no coins. Okay. We turn on the radio. But we can't take it. Alright, we can seal the door, we can open the door, and unseal it again, and reseal it, and... but, yeah. I haven't been stuck on, this stuck on a game since I was playing Goblins. This one's kind of self-inflicted. This one, you know, I had the option to pick something other than the fish, and I picked the fish, and now the game's making me pay for that decision. Cause like unless I see something, I'm stuck. Bushes. Nice. Who doesn't like bushes? Piece of cloth. Looks like it's covering the entrance to another room. Uh is that my family crest? Maybe. Okay, we can't Go poke it around while this dude's here. I don't know, maybe we offer this to him? Yeah, we're still using the stone. Can we take another stone? We cannot. Um, may we, I don't know, put on the sunglasses to look cool. Oh, I can't interact with anything while anything's going on? Fine, I guess I have to remove the sunglasses. Um, that's pretty thorny. Can we speak with, I don't know, something? Apparently not. Can we show letter to someone? Can we show other stuff to someone? How about this thing? Nope. So yeah, I don't know what we can do. We obviously can't proceed back there while he's here, and I don't have any items to lure him out of here. Um. I got the beverage. Oh, right, he was saying he needed a beverage. I was thinking he wanted that alcoholic or elixir thing. That's my mistake. Got any more? Um, no, not right now. All right, I guess if you really need me to go get another one, I can do that. Just gonna be the beverage server here. Just in case I get thirsty, I'll take another one. Just one more. Let's see, everything's still attached. Wait. Can we grab another? Um, three cans of spasm is all I can fit in my pockets. Very well. Alright, that's enough of that little music. Let's go back outside. And go over here. And go back to the cave. And hopefully he won't ask me for too many of these. Here we go, here's a three pack. We're gonna just like knock him out from drinking too much.
suppose there's a reason it's called spasm. Ha <laughs> ha. We got him to leave. We can find out what's back here. Oops. Alright, let's go walking in. It's a secret. It's a painting of rocks on velvet. It's a game of poker. It's functional and economical. Someone dropped a poker chip. Ouch. Well, that hurts. I'll just leave the thorns where they are, I suppose. Yeah, so is there anything else I can take here? No, just the one chip, apparently. What a burst of energy that was. I don't suppose you know anything about my doorway being on the floor. <laughs> yeah, somebody came and tore it down. I couldn't stop him. Rascal. Here we can give you another beverage. Wow. Hmm. Oh wow, what's this? <laughs> but of course, Paul didn't really attempt to disturb the man's stones. Here's what actually happened. Um, it's the most exciting pile of rocks ever. Rock's mine! Nice. Okay, well... It's pretty clear who those rocks belong to. Okay, this is a pretty sticky situation here. I guess we'll just head out. And... Um... But were we saying that this guy over here has quite the poker addiction? Maybe he'd appreciate the chip. Or maybe not. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the squirrel wants the poker chip. I mean, who could possibly want a poker chip? Yeah, I don't know. Let's go up here. He doesn't want my used up currency. Yeah, I suppose. So... Unless the poker chip... Eh, I can't cut the vine with the poker chip. Um... So I am super confused as to how to make any progress in this game. I was never good at adventure games. Um... Let's chuck the poker chip in the well, or no, I guess not. Um, <laughs> I've already tried every item here, I think. None of the items really seem to do anything. Um, can I go deeper into the forest, perhaps? No. Oh, right, I can combine items. Never succeeded at doing that, but I could, at least in theory, combine two items. Not sure how this would work.
purple stone already gave me. It's a fish. It's a key to the drawer. It's a note Lily left me. Cool sunglasses. Uh, yeah, I don't know. In theory, I can combine items. I just don't know which ones I would combine and how. And none of these look combinable to me. Um, stone and glasses. Yeah, no, that'd be a cool combination if that did work. I don't see how to do that. I mean, I could put on the glasses. And the character then complains that he can't do anything. Oh, right. Right. So we have to remove the glasses to be able to make progress. As cool as the glasses are. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I might have to bug that hint line and say, like, your guys' game is, like, freaking impossible. Or just say I'm just bad at adventure games. Um, got bushes. Uh, let's go back down this way. We could talk with the old man dude again and um, ask him how he's doing. He's always thirsty. And I've already talked with the creature to the north. Nice talking to you. All right, let's go back in this back room. Oh, wow, old man doesn't complain. That's weird. You'd think that old man would complain um, about my coming back here. A painting of rocks on velvet. It's a lantern. So, I don't know. Got a rock. In theory, that helps us to talk with animals and creatures and stuff, but it's not any good here, of course. Oh wait, I have softlocked the game. I have succeeded in finding a way to make the game not only softlock, but I can't... Okay, I can actually alt-tab out of the window. But the game's gone completely unresponsive. So I think I win. I think that's the victory condition. Is realizing not only do you not know how to progress normally, that you've put the game into such a state that you can't even click on the menu. Um, so, yeah. Our final score? 13. It's a good lucky number. No, no, our score is 13. Of course, they'll never get posted to any kind of leaderboard because we can't interact with anything anymore. But, um, yeah. That's uh, my first attempt at Beard in the Mirror. Um, I might have to try this again sometime. Maybe just you have to be in a different state of mind or something to be able to play this. Maybe you have to not select the fish at the beginning of the game to try to spite the game. I don't know. I, yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, so... Uh, at least we got a score of 13. That's what matters. And we got to meet the characters and talk with them and explore this little virtual world. Um, and honestly, I got farther in this game than I got in Goblins 3. So, you know, that's an achievement. Um, yeah, you can actually purchase this. This is by O. Arak Studios. Uh, you purchase this over at Steam. To search for the beard in the mirror. And you can similarly enjoy this virtual little world and all its little humorous details and its beautiful artwork. And um, I 
I think there was some music in this game. We heard that there was like a radio you could listen to for a little bit. Um, the sound effects seem to be a little bit lacking, but maybe I just don't have my speakers up high enough. It costs money. Man. It's like people don't do things for free these days. Well, other than me, apparently. So yeah. I hope that was fun. Um, I'll come back in a little while with a different game. But yeah, it's good to be trying a variety of games. And, um... I don't know, maybe I'll have more success with the next game I pick up. So yeah, um, thanks for stopping by, and uh, I'll try not to get, leave you guys hanging for too long. See you around.